Mike Mola, two months, less than two months before the White Sox Stadium event. Uh, one of the main events, Mike Mola versus Arthur Spilka. First of all, uh, you just told me that you watched just a couple of rounds of uh, Arthur Spilka fight. Why and what did you see during those or whatever nine minutes? Well, they took it down off the internet right away, which I thought was strange because every other fight he's had, they had up there with all kinds of stuff on it. And Whatever, and uh, I just I just personally think they don't want me to see it, you know. But I, I mean, to me, he looked he looked a little more apprehensive, you know, to exchange. He seemed like he's using his legs a lot more. If you ask me, I would have to say that that fight for Arthur Spilka with Brian Minto was a test run. What he's gonna do with me? So I, I the couple rounds I seen right as I was watching it, they took it down, you know. And uh, I don't think I really don't think that's fair. Uh, now, I, I should have a right to see his last fight, but... Uh, I'm sure you're going to find it. Uh, I'm going to give you two opinions. They're completely different ones. Uh, one is Artur Spilka saying interview after the fight that he expects you fight being the easier one that versus Brian Minta and for sure easier than the first one. And there is his coach. Fyodor Wapin, uh, Spilka's coach, saying that he doesn't like talk like this. You comment. Talk like Arthur talking like yes. that? Yes. Well, I, I hope Arthur thinks that. You know, Brian Mento is not, is not a pushover. He's a very tough guy. And uh, I think that he tried to get to him. He, he couldn't make it happen. Um, I got to Arthur. I put Arthur down twice. I made him take two knees just because out of out of his own fear of fighting me. When he gets in that ring with me and he looks into my eyes again, he's gonna see an, an animal that will fight that will try to that will fight it all uh, and win at all costs. There is no barriers to what I will do. What I will and will not do in there. I, I'm coming to fight. No matter what, I'll fight till I'm dead. I said it before, I'll say it again. That's my mentality. And uh, all that running he's gonna do and using his legs like that, it's not gonna help him. This time around, I ain't fought in three years. Look what I did to the man. Exactly, this is, this is my actual next question. It's like a statement. When we spoke before the first fight, a lot of people, especially in Poland, were suggesting, oh, this is just, uh, you know, Peter, me, and you, Mike, just hyping the stuff because you will just go there, go down like you're supposed to do. But nothing like this happened. But you know what I'm saying, Mike. Yes. This time, you're not fighting every two years. You're a completely different fighter. You spend the training camp and the uh, Big Bear. You're going to Florida, to Miami, to prepare with the great fighters. So completely different. Tell, tell us about the difference between then and now and your preparations. I didn't go through a training camp properly for three years. I trained two months. I broke my toe on Thanksgiving. I couldn't run. I snapped my toe in half on Thanksgiving. I couldn't run the whole month of, of December. I had four weeks to get ready for the fight. I did my best. I fought my best, and I proved it. Um, I wish Arthur the best. I hope he has a good, healthy training camp. I hope he comes ready to fight. And uh, may the best man win. And uh, I just think that... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the better man that night. He had his shot at me. You know, I, I was blind after the second round. Couldn't see no more. Couldn't see the punches coming. And the odds of me getting cut over both eyes by fouls, mind you. Not by, not by legal blows, by fouls. Those are slim to none. And I, I just pray to God that they have a, re a competent referee in there that will be able to uh, decipher what was legal and what was not legal, not curse at me, not deduct points from me for him falling down on his face. We got in a clinch, the man fell. They deduct a point from me with no prior warning. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like, oh, quit your crying, Mike, quit your crying. It ain't like that, man, this is a business. I'm here to make money for my family and progress in my career, okay? And, and all I'm looking for is a fair shake. I think I'm gonna get the fair shake in, in August because of how the raw deal I was dealt in February. I'm, I'm ready, I'm gonna, I'm training every day, mercilessly, and uh, 
You know, I'm, I'm coming to fight. I'm very excited. I want to thank Arthur for taking uh, another rematch with me. I, him and his team, I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for giving me another shot. It's going to be a great draw for Chicago, a great fight for Chicago fans. And uh, I know there'll be a lot of polls there to support them. But uh, you will all be very disappointed, the, the Polish fans, because... You, you you might get your victory in from far. From far is a great fighter. But hey, I love Andrew. He's a great fighter, a dedicated kid. And I believe he'll beat Campillo. He'll, he'll win that fight. It might not be the easiest fight for him in the world. If Campillo looks like he did in his last fight where he got stopped like that, uh, I think Van Faro will have a really easy night. But if, if the Campillo that fought Cloud shows up, uh, Van Faro will have a little work cut out for him. But he'll, he'll prevail. I do believe he'll prevail. Andrew's a great fighter. And uh, I'm really excited for this opportunity to come in there in Chicago, in the White Sox Park. It's a dream come true for me. I fought, worked my whole career for this, my whole life. I've dreamed of fighting in a venue like this, but not, I mean, the magnitude for me of this venue is like, it's my backyard, literally. My family's from Bridgeport, you know? And uh, just to have the opportunity to come out there and fight in my in my backyard like that, all my friends, all my family, my my city, my city, it's gonna be that's gonna be beautiful. I cannot wait for August 16th. Merciless Mike Mola with the preview of the fight. He's gonna fight with the preview of the Andrew from Fire fight. Everything in one package. Merciless Mike Mola. Thank you, Mike. Be ready for a fight because it's coming, Jake.